Hey there, everybody. This is Dano, and welcome to the Dano Channel. Meow. Today, I'm going to be showing you all how to print photographic images onto a canvas bag. Uh, what I'm going to use to do it is a really cool printing method. It's uh, called Inko Dye by a company called Lumi. Here's a couple of colors. They've got it available in all kinds of different colors. Blue, red, orange. Uh, they have a new bunch of new ones that came out. Basically what it is, it's a photosensitive ink that when exposed to sunlight will develop like a picture, but you need to have some kind of negative. So I'll be using this Inko film. And what this is, is there's a, basically it's a clear plastic sheet that one side will retain ink and the other one won't. So it's washable. You can clean it off in case you get any dye. Uh, you can kind of look at mine and see the color smudges on it. You can see I didn't really do it great job at washing them so I mean one thing to know is that they don't last forever but at you know I think I paid 10 or 12 bucks for the whole set of 10 but uh, I mean it lets you be able to print your own images if you have pictures of your family you want to put on a t-shirt or uh, pictures of your cats Meow. and what I'll show you next is exactly how I use Lumi's app to turn one of my pictures or a picture I found on the Meow. internet into something that I can make and print onto a canvas bag Okay, so here I'm going to go over to my Lumi app. There it is. It's going to open up. Um, when it opens up, it starts out something like this. So what you do is you go down to the editor. And down at the bottom, you can see all your pictures. So let me click down there. Uh, luckily, I only have like one picture ready to go. There it is. And you get to position it and put it exactly where you want it. And, you know, actually, I think that's good enough. I'm not going to stress on it too much. I'm going to hit Choose. And now I can you know, slide and adjust the contrast to see exactly how I want my image to look. You know, some details you may want brighter or darker. So let me just find, I think, I feel like that looks just about right. So next I'm going to hit this little negative button up here. And there we go, I have my negative. So when I print on the transparencies, it's actually going to look similar to that. And then when I expose it to the sunlight, basically all the light areas that aren't going to be printed on will be exposed and turned dark and all of the dark areas will be exactly the opposite. They'll be light. So let's, uh, what you can do, if you notice in the app right here, it actually says custom printed negative. You can order them directly from Lumi. I believe they're 12 inches by 12 inches. So it's a way bigger because these uh, that I'm using are only eight and a half by eight and a half. So basically you can order one from them directly uh, for $10. It's a much larger one, or you can buy for about 10 to $15, 10 sheets of your own, but they're a bit smaller. So, you know, go to Lumi.co and take a look and see what kind of fits your needs best and go from there. So now that I have my negative, I'm going to hit the Save Negative button. There it is, Saving Photo. And what I do from here is I usually just transfer over to my computer. I find it a lot easier to print there than from a, you know, an iOS device like my iPhone or an iPad. Uh, just because I have a preset that I've already made for the Inco film that is exactly 8.5 by 8.5 inches, the size of this film. Uh, it just makes things a lot easier. That way when I go to it, I can just click on my preset. Everything's ready to go. You see the image aligns just right. And then I can, you know, go ahead and insert my Inco film and get ready. Uh, the one thing that's really important you should know about this Inco film is that it's double sided. One side is kind of like, it's got like a sticky film to it. You know, you can kind of see here, my fingers kind of stick to it. Uh, and on the other side, it's really smooth. If the ink gets on that smooth part, it's just going to wipe right off. But if it goes on the sticky part, the ink will stay better and you'll have a better print that you can use longer. So it's one thing you really need to make sure you do. Uh, you might want to even go to your printer, print a test page, just so you know which side is the side it's going to print with. Um, if not, or if you have any other questions about this, you can always go to lumi.co slash negatives and you can find a great tutorial on there exactly on how to do it. The next thing I'm doing here is I'm actually inverting the image, uh, really just flipping horizontally so that I can get two of the same thing. I've got my two negatives printed out. You can kind of see them as a bit of a glare. Uh, sticky side here, sticky side there, they're opposites. Once you get them sort of aligned and looking, oh, that's, that's not bad, looking better, what you can do is get them all set up and put them over the ink. The other thing I'm going to be doing this time is I'm doing this Mickey head thing again. It's just cardboard. I cut it out in the shape of a Mickey head and I did it myself. And what I'm going to do is use it to block out more light so that not only will it be the Hatbox Ghost, but it'll be the Hatbox Ghost inside of a Mickey ears, much like the other side of the bag where it was the Haunted Mansion, 
in the shape of Mickey ears. A lot of it's experimentation, which is what makes it really fun. That's why I really like using Inquidide. The results, they're always a little different, but sometimes they're really dark, sometimes they're really bright, sometimes they're blurry. It, you know, it's a learning curve always, and I don't think there's any way to ever really get it precise. You never know what you're gonna get. It's uh, like a box of chocolates. Meow. But that's kind of what makes it fun and makes every piece unique. So now I'm gonna show you guys uh, putting down the ink and then setting this, and we'll set it outside and watch it develop for a bit. Okay, so I'm getting ready to put this ink on here. I've got my special ink with dye black. And what I do is I usually put it in a cup or some kind of roller, uh, you know, where I can kind of roll it on there. But today, I'm gonna be using a paintbrush. And for a couple good reasons. Just because I don't need to roll it on, I don't need to make a square shape. I just need to make it in the shape of this Mickey here. So I'm just gonna trace the outline. Once that's good and ready, then uh, I'll place my negative back over it, and then we'll set it outside. Uh, one thing I do want to show you guys, or one thing I really got to mention, I guess, is that uh, you want to do this in a darkly lit room. And the reason why is because, again, this is light-sensitive ink. The second you let a whole bunch of light into it, it's going to start developing, and it's going to start changing colors, which you may not want if you don't have everything set up already. So I've gone ahead and I poured a little bit of this ink dye into this cup, and uh, I'm going to use my paintbrush, and I'm just going to kind of paint the shape in of this Mickey head. Since it's been wet before, it's kind of warped, so I have to use you know, weights and stuff to keep it down. But for the time being, I'm just going to paint this in real neat. It's got kind of a brown color to it, which I didn't really expect for black ink, but, you know, it's all right. Paint this in real nice, get a good decent coat on here. Another thing to uh, also keep in mind is that these are chemicals and they do have kind of noxious fumes to them so I would recommend wearing a mask. Meow. Uh, unfortunately I don't have one and if you're you know a child have your parents help you out when doing this kind of thing but you want to make sure that uh, you know you're in a well ventilated area. Uh, luckily my kitchen is so kind of I guess windows open good enough right? It kind of smells like hair dye, if you've ever dyed your hair. Uh, Alright, so I've got my Mickey head in place. It looks pretty good. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect because in the end it's not really going to be. And some of this is going to wash off when we're done. I'm going to take these ears off. See, you got kind of a Mickey head shape. And I'm going to place this kind of right there. You can see he's not exactly taking up the whole thing. But now I can put this back on here, and we can set that outside. Alright, so here I am. I've brought it inside. It's been about 15 minutes or so. So I remove this, remove my rocks. I'm going to remove the negatives. This one came out a bit dark. But I still like the way he looks. I think he looks really cool. I mean, you can still see his picture really well. But now the thing is, we kind of have to rush to get it washed. Because even though it's dark in here, well, kind of dark in here, uh, it's still enough to keep it developing. So we have to use a special detergent made by uh, Lumi that will work to wash off this Inco dye. Now when you're washing, uh, one thing to do is wash it a couple times. Like uh, what, what I'm going to do here is real quick, wash it in really hot water. Uh, and then I'll rinse it with cold water, but I'll repeat the process just a few times to make sure I get all that ink off. If you don't, uh, what happens is that basically the ink keeps developing even after you've dried it, and it, it just ruins it. Your pictures, you know, they're not as crisp, they get real blurry, and you basically lose all of your work. So I've put my uh, bag in the dryer. Sometimes that can really leave it like wrinkled and messed up. So if you do, you wanna make sure it's the only item in the dryer and lay it down as flat as possible. Um, and hopefully you won't have to spend a million hours ironing it. But, so this is how it came out. There's some splotches here and stuff like that that came out. And like I said before, it's a little unpredictable because you're dealing with sunlight conditions and, but that's what's kinda of makes it cool is that every time you do one of these, the print's gonna be different. So every item you make or whatever you print is going to be one of a kind and no one else is going to have it. Have any of you guys tried any uh, Lumi products? Have you guys done any of your own printing? Uh, let me know what you've made. Just, you can tweet it at me or tag me on Instagram at Dano Flores. Uh, yeah, I want to see what projects you come up with or did you find this video helpful? 
If so, be sure to hit that big thumbs up button, uh, click subscribe, and watch some of my other videos for some more cool artistic tutorials and uh, other random stuff. Until then, we'll see you later. Thank <laughs> you.